Earthpen. Good day learners, this is Earthpen. For today's topic, we are going to talk about two mathematical terms that are very useful in algebra. These terms are called equation and formula. In mathematics, we can write long phrases into short ways using variable. Variable is a symbol for a number we don't know yet. It is usually represented by a single letter. For example, if we have a phrase like sum of a number plus 3, we can write this phrase in mathematical way by using variable. We can use variable x to represent the phrase a number. And this is called an expression. And because it involves variable and a number, we call it algebraic expression. Now how about if we have a phrase like sum of a number and 3 is equal to 5. So again, we can represent a number using the variable x. Sum of a number and 3 can be written as x plus 3. And then equal to 5 can be written using the symbol of equals and then the number 5. Is this also an expression? No, it is not an expression because an equal sign is present. So this is what we call an equation. Equation says that what is on the left which is x plus 3 is equal to what is on the right which is 5. In short, equation is just like a statement. This equals that. So what are the parts of an equation? Let's use again our example x plus 3 equals to 5. This is what we call a variable, meaning we needed to find the value of this variable x. And these numbers, 3 and 5, are called constants. And this is called operators. Now let's have another example. How do we write the phrase the difference of a number and 9 equals to 2. Again, we can represent the statement a number into variable x. And because it is stated in the phrase that a difference of a number and 9, so our operator will be subtraction. So our equation will become x minus 9 is equal to 2. So that's what equation is all about. By the way, we will try solving equation on our next video. But in this video, we will just only focus on what is equation and what is formula. So what is a formula? Formula is a fact or rule that uses mathematical symbols. It also uses equal signs and two or more variables that stands for the values we don't know yet. So if it has equal sign and variables, then is formula an equation? Right, formula can be expressed as equation, but not all equations are formulas. Now let's have this example. Let us solve for the perimeter of a rectangle. The formula in finding the perimeter of a rectangle is P equals 2L plus 2W. P is the perimeter, L is the length, and W is the width. So notice that the formula is expressed as an equation. Now, what if I told you that the actual perimeter of the rectangle is 15? So this will become 15 equals 2L plus 2W. Therefore, this is an equation, but not a formula. So again, all formulas are expressed in equation, but not all equations are formulas. There are many examples of formulas, like area and perimeter of triangle, parallelogram, rectangle, rhombus, square, and many more. Notice that all of these formulas have equal sign and variables. Therefore, they are expressed in equation. Formulas also are fixed. We cannot change it the way we want it. Now that you already know what is equation and formula, then you are now ready to solve basic equations. That's it guys, I hope you learned a lot about equations and formulas.
Also, you can watch our other video tutorials here in our channel. Once again, this is Earthpen. Learning has never been this easy for anyone, anywhere. Have a nice day.